The materials needed to pair two HCO5 Bluetooth modules are two HCO5 Bluetooth modules, five male to female jumper wires, an Arduino Uno hooked up to the Arduino IDE, and if you want to test the connection, you're going to need another Arduino, another set of jumper wires, and a 5 volt power source. First, label your modules. This might seem a little tedious, but there's going to come a point when you step away from the project for a couple days, and when you get back, you'll be really glad you took the time to do this. Connect your Arduino to the computer and run the Arduino IDE to bring up a blank sketch. Check that your board and port settings are correct and upload the blank sketch to your Arduino. We're going to start with the module marked Slave. First thing you want to do is unplug the power source from the Arduino Uno and connect the Slave module to the Arduino using the following configuration. The state pin doesn't need to be connected to anything. RX goes to RX, TX goes to TX, ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, and the EN key can go to the 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino. If you plug the power source back into the Arduino, you'll see the HCO5 power on with short, rapid blinks. This is standard pairing mode, and the HCO5 is looking for another module to pair with. To pair the Bluetooth modules, we need to configure them in AT command mode. AT command mode is denoted by long, slow blinks. To power on the HCO5 module in AT command mode, you want to plug the power source into the Arduino while holding down the reset button on the HCO5 module. The long, slow blinks indicate that we're in AT command mode and we can begin to configure the modules for master and slave. Open the Arduino IDE and enter the serial monitor. Be sure that the baud rate is set to 38.4 and both new line and carriage return are selected. We can now begin entering AT commands. By default, both modules will be set to slave, and our goal here is to set one of them to master and then bind it to the slave module using the slave's address. Since we started with the slave module, all we really need to do here is get the address of this module to give to the other one. If you type AT into the top bar, at first you're going to get an error code. I'm not really sure why this happens, but if you type AT again, you will get an OK. To confirm that we are dealing with a slave module, you can type AT plus roll question mark. This asks the module for its role. Zero is slave, one is master. Since we have a zero here, we know that this module is configured to slave, and all we need to do is get the address. If we type AT plus ADDR question mark, it'll give us the address. Copy this address down into a notepad or another application, and as you copy it, change all the colons to commas. When you enter it back into the master module, you're not going to want those colons there. This is all we need to do for the slave module, so we can unplug this from the Arduino and repeat the previous steps to get the master module plugged into the Arduino and powered on into AT command mode. Back in AT command mode for the master module, we need to do three things. Change the role of the module to master, change the connection mode of the module to only connect to one device by its address, and attach the address of the slave module to the master module. If we type AT plus role question mark into the command line, we'll see it returns a zero, showing that by default it is set to slave. To set this to one or master, you type in AT plus role equals one. You'll get an OK, and you can confirm that this worked by typing AT plus roll question mark again and seeing that it is configured to 1. Next, we want to check the connection mode by typing AT plus C mode question mark. You'll see it returns a 1. Connection mode 1 means that it'll connect to any device within the vicinity. We want it to connect to only one device, and that is connection mode 0. So we want to type in AT plus C mode equals 0. We get an OK, and we can just double check that that worked by typing in AT plus C mode question mark again and seeing that now it is configured to zero. Now that we've told the module to only connect to one device, we have to give it an address to connect to. To do that, we're going to type in AT plus bind equals, and then we're going to copy the address of the slave module from our notepad or other application and press enter. You see we get an OK, and we could check that by typing AT plus bind question mark and you see it spits back the address with the colons reinserted instead of the commas, which means we're all set to pair the two devices. If you have an extra Arduino handy, you can test this connection by plugging them both in. You just need to make a couple changes to the wiring configuration. For both modules, you want to plug RX into TX and TX into RX and get rid of the wire connecting the EN pin to the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino. With both Arduinos powered on, you will see that the two modules enter into their third state, which is their paired state, and that is denoted by a synchronous blink between the two modules. 
That's it for this no intro tutorial. I hope it worked out for you. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and also check out some of my robotics projects, including Chopper from Star Wars Rebels and my BB-8 project. All right, see you later.